over here crying. <laughs> and then I heard the birds chirping. And then I thought, at least I'm crying in Brooklyn. <laughs> God, I hope I'm doing better a year from now. <laughs> Welcome back to Channel Time Pods, your host, Red. I got a video today from Man Guide. I can't get a job. That's what happens when women weaponize Me Too to the point where nobody wants to hire them. Please like subscribe below. I really appreciate that. See that. Ciao. Ciao time. This is the most humbled I've ever felt in my life. I'm literally holding resumes, a stack of them, so that I can go in person to places and say, are you guys hiring? <laughs> It's honestly a little bit embarrassing because I'm literally applying for like minimum wage jobs and some of them are being like, we're not hiring and it's like, what? This is not what I expected. I graduated college with two degrees in communications and acting. I the two most powerful degrees, I made fun of this last time. Who would want to hire a person that has two degrees for a minimum wage job? You're not going to stay with the company, nor the position or whatever the hell you're applying for. You're, you're, you're going to look for better because you think you, do, you can do better. Speak three languages. Oh. Again, three languages. I spoke about this. If it ain't Spanish and it ain't Chinese, you're useless. This sucks. Like, I, I just want to be a TikToker if I'm being so for real with you. But I can't be delusional anymore. Like, I literally need to make money. So this is sad. I, I started YouTube. I understand the wanting to do YouTube and TikTok thing. I still worked two jobs and have another business. I still work two jobs now and I do four videos a day on this. Get to fucking work, people. I'm just going to keep trying. I'm over here crying. <laughs> And then I heard the birds chirping. And then I thought, at least I'm crying in Brooklyn. <laughs> God, I hope I'm doing better a year from now. <laughs> I know I'm probably just being so dramatic and annoying, but this is my first job, like my first nine to five job after college. And I'm in person and I'm commuting in the city and it takes me fucking forever to get there. There's no way I'm gonna be able to afford living in the city right now. So that's off the table, like fucking duh. If I was able to walk to work and it would it'd be fine, but I'm not. So it literally takes me like I leave here, like I get on the train at 730 and I don't get home till like 615 earliest. And then like, I don't have time to do anything. I don't, I want to shower eat my dinner and go to sleep. I don't have time or energy to cook my dinner either. Like I don't have energy to work out. Like that's out the window. Like now imagine a man that has to do all these things exactly like you, but guess what? He has to actually put some effort to contacting women, talking to women, putting in more effort to spend money that he probably doesn't have just like you, you know, Probably went to work, commuted the same way as you, tired as motherfucker, just like you. But he still has to put in the effort to date, to put in all these things. But yet you're complaining and you can't even cook your own dinner. This is what you wanted, ladies. I'm so upset. Oh my God. Oh my Not God. Not my job at all, but just like the nine to five schedule in general is crazy. Oh my God. Five, like who's remote? You get off at five and you're home and everything's fine. But like, I'm not home. It takes me long to get home. And like, like people that drive to the office, like it doesn't, you don't get off at five. And I know it could be worse. I know I could be working longer, no, but like, shit. I literally get off. It's pitch black. Like I don't have energy. How do you have friends? Like, how do you have time to like meet? like a guy i don't know like how do you have time for like dating like i don't have time for anything and i'm like so stressed out and i'm also getting my period so that's why i'm all emotional but like am i it all went out the window when she said i'm on my period yeah because that literally you know eliminates all of the you know the wrongdoing or the stupid shits that you've done or said so dramatic it's fine Something is happening that feminism and modern women never could have predicted. For decades, feminist ideology has successfully possessed our government to convince them to unfairly favor women in just about every area. For decades, women have been pushed to the front of the queue while men had to just sit back and take it with their mouth shut. 
As a result, we've seen countless women in positions of prestige in the workplace that they never earned. They got there purely because they were women. It's as I always say on this channel, feminism is not against discrimination or inequality. Feminism loves discrimination and inequality if it benefits women and gives them power. If it benefits women, the gloves are off and anything goes. But things aren't going according to plan. The wheels are starting to fall off and something is happening that the MGTOW philosophy predicted a long time ago, but everyone else ignored. So what's happening now? Companies are starting to realize what a mistake it was to open the floodgates and fill their offices with modern women. And they are starting to backtrack and even avoid hiring these entitled modern women altogether. What we're seeing on social media are the effects of companies and honest employers starting to realize the kind of liability that modern women are in the workplace. Modern women are going on social media freaking out about how unfair it is to work in today's society. The reality is though, that these women have been mollycoddled and sugarcoated their entire lives being treated like princesses by daddy who will buy her everything and never say no to her. The issue comes up when these women go into the real world and realize something that men have known all along. Life is difficult and nobody owes you anything. Nope. Nobody is coming to save you. Your boss is not your friend. If you don't provide consistent value to the company that you work for, you will be dumped faster than you can blink. Men already know this, but it seems that modern women are playing the victim card and crying to TikTok when they get treated just like everybody else. And this will always happen because it doesn't matter what kind of ideology is driving a company. Feminism and the kind of false fantasy problems it dreams up is only possible in a society where everything is easy. Feminism True. is the fake purpose of pampered modern women who have been given everything in life and are looking for some meaning. But when a company's bottom line starts to be affected, when profits start to drop, when customers start complaining and the cash dries up, that company will start firing women and hiring competent, capable men again. And that's exactly the kind of thing that we're seeing right now. There is backlash today after this young woman recorded herself getting fired. You have not met expectations for performance. We've decided to part ways with you. Yeah, I'm gonna stop you right there. Brittany Peach had been working in sales at the tech company Cloudflare for just four months, and she's being told by two HR representatives that she's getting the boot. Can you explain for me why Brittany Peach is getting let go? I won't be able to go into specifics. Wait, why though? I just started, I've been working extremely hard. It's just very, very shocking. Your extremely hard is my minimal. That's what's extremely shocking and you don't know that. Very, very shocking. I've like really given my whole energy and life over the last four months to this job. No, you didn't. And to be let go for no reason is like a huge slap in the face. He literally said you had performance issue, girl. I'm really sorry that you're having this experience and feeling this way. Many applauded the 28-year-old for standing up for herself. So proud of you goes just one of the many thousands of comments on social media. Wow. But some are taking Britney to task, including wow. Megyn Kelly. What this is about is whiny, weak, woke youngsters who don't understand how the world works. Damn and I really right. think these young people need to understand, work harder. Do better. So Stop blaming others. Blame yourself. The CEO of Cloudflare actually expressed sympathy for Britney. The video is painful. The mistake was not being more kind and humane. Oh, shut up, you fucking cuck. He asked HR expert Deb Muller for her take on the video. The corporate speak just doesn't do it anymore. They know there's more behind it. Be honest with them. Tell them what's happening, and they're going to be much more accepting. Of no, they're not, you lying whores. If men and companies told women exactly what they did wrong and why they're firing them, there would be a fucking protest. There'd be a march, the no fire march or something. That's how women fucking deal with shit like this. What the actions are that you have to take. It's just very, very shocking. Very, very shocking. The CEO says out of about 1,500 salespeople, 40 were let go, which he says is normal this time of year. But employers are not firing or refusing to hire modern women for no reason. In this society, money talks. Mm -hmm. This is why the gender pay gap is, and always has been, a complete fantasy. A total lie told by dishonest and manipulative feminists who have no interest in telling people the truth. 
We know this because if the gender pay gap was real and women were consistently paid less for the same work, employers would only hire women and save a lot of money doing it. But obviously, this isn't what happened and this isn't what is going to happen. This is yet another piece of BS in the whole victim story that modern women are trying to convince everybody of. The truth is that modern women are a liability in the workplace for a variety of reasons. Modern women bring unnecessary drama to the workplace. It's a well-known fact that the way women communicate differs from the way men communicate. Modern True. women bring a level of communication to a workplace that is potentially harmful. Modern women communicate through gossip, innuendo, and reputation destruction. This is why countless women openly admit to enjoying the company of men as opposed to women. Communication between men is far simpler and much less open to drama. Modern women tend to view the workplace as their own personal soap opera. Many women simply thrive off the kinds of emotional stimulation that conflict and drama brings. But when you apply this to a work environment, <laughs> suddenly it becomes apparent how disastrous it can be. And employers are realizing this, which is why they are refusing to hire modern women. Okay, back in the car now. I went into the shop. I literally just like found like the first employee because I don't I don't know what these things are. Like, I've never really done this before. Went in and just went to like the first member of staff. Showed him the list and he's like stops laughing at me and I'm like. And then I just like go around the corner and I just start looking for stuff. And then I found like this guy, he looks like an older guy. And I was like, okay, this older man, like he looked quite like sweet. I was like, he's probably going to like, hopefully like take pity on me. Tell me where this stuff is. And then he starts like giggling. See, even there, she knows she has women privilege, girl privilege. I hope he takes pity on me. You wouldn't be saying that if you were a man, because you know men do not take pity on each other like that. They will laugh their ass off in your face. But yes, because you're a woman, they might. And then like these two other lads that like, come around the corner, they start <clears throat> laughing at me. They're like, oh, look at the list, look at the list. I'm like, what? Like, I don't know what this stuff is. Like, then they look at the list, they're like, none of this stuff exists. And I'm like, what? And I like, have another look at the list. And it's like, 10 fallopian tube. Obviously, that's not a thing. And they're proper laughing at me. And I've spent like... It is a thing in your body, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it isn't used for construction, that's for sure. So much time trying to get to the shop and then come back out. I've been out for like nearly two hours trying to get this stuff. I'm going to go back to the site and then they're all going to like laugh at me. Like, I don't know, like, what's the point? Like, that's just so mean. Like, like is it because I'm a girl? Is it because I like, I'm, no, like, everybody I'm gets a, it. A bloke? Like, is that what it is? Is that just, oh, let's just take the piss out of her because she's a girl. Like, is that what, what it is? It's just so cruel. It's not cruel. It's the harsh reality of being a man in this society. If you can't survive a little bit of joking at work, then I'm sorry, but work is not for you. But it's not just employers that are starting to realize the downsides of having modern women in the workplace in massive numbers. It's also male colleagues that don't want to work with women anymore. Yep. Now at this point, I fully expect that feminism will be saying that it's because male colleagues are insecure about their positions in the workplace and feel threatened by strong women. That's exactly what they say. How many times have I covered this type of story and all those news articles and these news anchors are always saying the exact same thing. Men are intimidated. They need to grow some balls and start dealing with women. But this is just 100% pure cope. The reality is that feminism scored one of the biggest own goals in modern history with the Me Too movement. Feminism and modern women truly threw the baby out with the bathwater with this circus of a movement. Mm. Don't get me wrong, the movement put away some truly monstrous people, and it deserves a commendation for that. I agree. But the effects of the Me Too movement on the whole have been a net negative. Because now what we're seeing is a reluctance for men to work with women at all. And who can blame them when men have been called toxic, creepy misogynistic perverts for the past 20 years? Women have been aggressively outspoken when it comes to telling men that they don't want them anywhere near them. Women have consistently told men not to approach them and accused men of sexual harassment with absolutely no evidence. This has happened countless times and the women face absolutely no backlash for it. There are a few instances where justice has been served and women have been sent to prison. But these cases are few and far between, because the Me Too movement successfully created a climate when men were seen as rapists in waiting. This gave women a free pass to simply do what they like. Even if that means accuse a man of sexual harassment purely on the basis that they don't like him. A man's life can be completely destroyed with a single accusation with no evidence. 
and modern women were given free reign to bring down whichever man they wanted. We've since seen the Me Too movement calm down in recent years, but the effects are still being felt in the workplace. Yeah, there's that book I tell you guys about. Just send your email only and message me in Instagram just with your only email so I can copy and paste it very easily to my email. And I'll send you guys the book. It's free. I mean, it's How to Destroy a Man. I suggest all of you guys message me and get this free book. Again, one of uh, one of the community members sent me this book for free and told me to spread it as much as I can. And that's my goal is to spread out this book. Don't put your your email in down below or anything because YouTube will get rid of that. Just just personal message me on Instagram, just your email, and I'll send you the the book. Men listened to what modern women were saying. We left them alone. But as it turns out, this isn't what they wanted, because they're not happy with it. Nope. Once again, modern women have been given everything they wanted and realized that it's not what they wanted. This society is ruining itself by trying to cater to the whims and wishes of modern women. Yep. These are people who simply do not know what they want, and if you give them what they say they want in one moment, they will quickly decide they want something else in another. Society has given women a remarkably large manufactured advantage in just about every single area of society, and women aren't happy with it. One of the biggest mistakes a man can make is give a woman everything she says she wants. For some reason or another, she will hate the fact that she has everything and it doesn't make her happy. <laughs> she might even blame the men in her life for it. Does that sound like modern feminism or am I going crazy? No. Nope. And you ain't crazy, I brother. I know that modern women have been given these advantages. A little thing called affirmative action, otherwise known as diversity quotas. The implementation of diversity quotas is the biggest case of societal hypocrisy I have ever witnessed. Feminism claimed that all forms of discrimination are wrong and that it vehemently stood against it. But then the government said it will forcibly push women to the front of the queue and push white men out of the queue altogether in favor of women. This is blatant hypocrisy and society has not been held accountable for this. But the thing is, when you start to play dirty, eventually reality wins. And that's what we're seeing now. Diversity quotas have led to less competent women being pushed to the front, and it's started to affect every area of society. Less competent healthcare professionals, construction workers, and scientists. Finding the best person for the job is no longer the priority. What is the priority? The feelings of women. Women don't want to be left out, and society can't stand to disappoint a few women. So incompetent women are being given positions in healthcare that they shouldn't have. Correct. They're even being given positions in the military that they didn't earn. That's right. Even our military is becoming woke. At this rate, we'll have absolutely no chance if China decides to start a war. I'm not making this up. Recently, a story came out about the Royal Air Force in the UK hiring exclusively women and ethnic minorities while sidelining white men. Let me read. This is the same thing with our pilots. There's a reason why there were most pilots were white men. They needed a certain amount of airtime to be able to be pilots. And the only people that had that kind of airtime, guess what? They were military vets that were mostly white men that flew jets. That just happened to be the, the biggest demographic of people that n had the background to be able to fly airplanes safely. Now we've taken that all away because it happens to be a lot of white guys and we're trying to put women and minorities into these positions. They don't have the same background nor the same experience as a lot of these white pilots why because they chose to be pilots throughout their most of their careers in the military that's the part where feminism and all these people do not realize why are there white pilots so many of them and there's occasional black pilots because those are the two biggest races that are becoming pilots in the military read some of the article for you White men, derided as useless white male pilots who failed in a bid to join the Royal Air Force, are furious no one has been sanctioned over a botched diversity drive that broke equality legislation and say they want their rejected applications reviewed. 
Bao. Defense sources similarly expressed dismay at the lack of accountability among the RAF top brass, comparing it unfavorably with how the army deals with soldiers who get drunk. It can be revealed that members of a British battle group on a six-month deployment to Estonia this year have been fined a total of nearly £10,000 for alcohol-related misdemeanors, Oof. such as urinating in public, reaching a two-pint drinking limit, and breaking curfew. Basically, the Royal Air Force in the UK seems to punish men for drinking one pint too many far more harshly than it does punish its own two brass for being sexist. The urination offense, which occurred on the 24th of May, cost one soldier £635.56, while another was charged £1,117.92 for drinking too much and staying out late on the 31st of May, wow. according to a leaked document seen by Sky News. By contrast, an inquiry in June found the Air Force had unlawfully discriminated against white male candidates in the two years to March 2021 in an effort to boost the number of female and ethnic minority recruits. The service apologized, blamed incorrect legal advice, and said everyone had been acting with the best intent. No disciplinary action was recommended. Wow. The RAF controversy erupted a year ago when Sky News revealed that the subsequent head of recruitment had quit in protest at what she deemed to be an unlawful order to pull forward female and ethnic minority candidates onto training courses ahead of white men. The inquiry identified 161 cases of unlawful positive discrimination involving candidates seeking to join the enlisted ranks rather than become pilots or other officers. Mm -hmm. However, extensive reporting by Sky News has revealed evidence of wider pressure to favor women and ethnic minorities over white men to meet impossible diversity targets. This included a leaked email sent by a recruitment officer in January 2021 that appeared to deride white men seeking to join the RAF as useless white male pilots. Wow. This is all coming out now. Even the Royal Air Force has been racist and discriminatory against white men. Can you imagine if the RAF were caught calling women useless white women pilots? There would be a firestorm of a backlash. Holy. But nobody got punished and this entire thing got swept under the rug. White men in the Air Force were being fined massive amounts of money for petty offenses, while the organization of the Air Force got off scot-free for punishing men for being white. Countless men who just so happened to be white had their careers derailed or completely ruined on the basis of their gender. And we're talking about the Royal Air Force here. Wokeism has infiltrated every level of Western society. But what we're seeing now are the effects of this woke mind virus. Women going on TikTok crying the victim is just the beginning. This is what happens when you put ideology before progress and innovation. It will come back to bite you in the ass eventually. It doesn't matter that women have been given huge advantages in this society. They're still not happy and they never will be happy. Nope. Because these people are not happy in themselves. But one thing you can do to be happy within yourself as a man is to refuse to participate in this complete clown show. Refuse to give modern women any of your attention and let them face the harsh consequences of their decisions. Sit back, grab your popcorn, and watch it happen. As always, I wish you tremendous success. Ooh, shout out to Man Guide. He is definitely way more mid tal than I am. I'm a lot more of the passport bro side of things. But I totally understand. Me and him are literally on the same page on almost everything when it comes to these things. And it's good to have allies like him making great videos like this. And this video is actually, I think, good enough for even women to watch and not be upset about it. Please like and subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. And I'll catch you guys next time. Ciao.